make your lightning bolt hide and then show. So when we first start the game, we want our player to be able to read the directions and kind of get used to the game first. And then we want the lightning bolt to just pop out. So when I hit the green flag, I can now have time to read this stuff and then it'll ask me for what's my X? Well, we're gonna go to zero. Oh, what's my Y? 100. Oh, and now my lightning's in there. Oh, it's gonna come for me. Oh no, I better type this in. Oh, I did it. Woo, and I missed him. Now I'll come down to negative 100. Got him. Oh, cool. And I got that sound effect going when I get him, when my score goes up. Oh, this is looking cool. Where'd my guy? Where's my kid? Oh, you see him right down here? My ballerina's hiding down here. Oh, there she is. So let's come over to 120. Whoa. Oh, no. Uh, 130. Oh, no. Okay. And then come down here to like negative 180. I got her. Oh, she's hiding over here again. Let's do zero. Oh, they're up there. Uh-oh, is that lightning bolt going to hit me? No, it's not. Okay, okay, I have a minute to think. My Y. I want my Y to be all the way up at 180. And now I want it to be at negative 200. Well, that's negative 100. Oh, man, I'm doing amazing. Sweet. So I'll show you the code just so you can see it. Under my lightning bolt, I have when green flag clicked, hide, and then wait 10 seconds and then show. And so that gives me a little bit of time before the game starts. Um, it's, it's, it's really good to have that. So go in and add in a little buffer for your player. Make your lightning bolt hide, then wait, and show.